All right, we're back for a very brief segment Jeez. two. The redoubtable one, Tom Izzo, the highly questionable, and Arjun Miliaccio. This is IDD. For those of you who know, I don't disagree. For those of you who have just split the atom. Um, Tom Brady retired today. Um, sad day for me. TB12. Um, what I was explaining to him on the air and off the air again was just why I have the, the, the appreciation, respect, and love for this man that I do. And it doesn't, and Larry Bird's right there, and so is the other guys. I've been very blessed. And I hope every one of you, if you don't have a guy or an athlete like that, you get one. Because you deserve one if you're a diehard like him or I. Because when you put that kind of time and passion into, a, into a, an organization or a sport, you should get something back. And you should have an athlete that you can hang your hat on for the rest of your life. And I got four of them. That's bullshit. I didn't deserve that. I'll be the first to tell you that. <laughs> okay? That's bullshit, so I'm not going to stand to Privileged motherfucker. Yeah, after. privileged motherfucker. I should shut up for the rest of my fucking life. Okay? Um, but I won't because I'm an asshole. Anyway, the bottom line is I do understand, though, how fortunate we as a fan base in Boston have been just in my lifetime. And I didn't get to see Bill Russell or Bobby or Rocky Marciano. We've been blessed a long fucking time, boys and girls. Okay, Carl Yastrzemski. I can go on and on and on. So the bottom line is Boston's been very lucky. And this man, we owe this man a debt of gratitude for what he has done. And he has set a standard so fucking high, I don't know in our lifetime if anyone's going to catch him. I don't think so. Could be wrong. You never know. But to Max, Max Kellerman, of all people, today, who was the one who predicted the cliff, I'll tell you, I, I'll tell you what. I gained a large measure of respect for Max Kellerman today. I'm usually the first one to, to, to rip him a new one. But Max Kellerman fell on the sword today, replayed the clip of him calling for the cliff on ESPN, and turned around and said, what this man did, Aaron, I, I used to think Rogers was better. I'll never, be, I'll never say that again. He was just like, there is something to be said about what's going on in here and what's going on in here. And Aaron Rodgers, from a skill perspective, laps Tom Brady. From everything else, Tom Brady laps him. And it's not even close. And Max Kellerman fell and so did that today. Of course, he had to be Max at the end and talk about his five Brady moments. So guess what one and two were? <laughs> and he put in a five. Is Kellerman a Giants fan? Oh, yeah. Big time. Big time. Um, and that's fine. But I'm just like, and Damon Woody, who's got the show, going, man, you are an idiot like <laughs> the greatest that ever did it. this is what you you know that's just a backhanded shot out the door because exactly. he because he made you look like the buffoon that you are <laughs> and you still had to you know so but that's max kellman but at least he did that he went that far he, that's farther than i thought he'd go mm -hmm. so anyway i give him i'll tip my cap to him for that and um but uh what i would tell you is um i hope you all get it and I, patrick ewing might be the closest thing for him i don't know um, I'm sure there's a guy on the Mets roster. I loved Patrick Ewing, yeah, but and he, he never should. won. He never won. He, Jordan got in the way of that, but he got close a couple times. Um, Jordan and close. Elijah won. Yeah, Jordan and Elijah won. Two, all, two icons. Um, so there's no shame in that either. And then Tim Duncan. And Tim, yeah, another, that, that, that son of a bitch. I mean, he didn't just run into anybody. He ran into all-time great. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, um, and he, look, he, he, he held his own. It wasn't because he didn't do anything. But um, the bottom line is I, I, I hope that in our lifetime that he gets a guy like this. Um, just as long as it doesn't, get, doesn't come at my expense. Better have okay. um, Well, you're 40. You got you got 40 years left at least, maybe more. Technically, the human body is designed to last 120 years. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah. You know why they don't? Not this human body. You, no, but you know what the number one reason why the human body doesn't live that long? Because we don't take care of it like that. Hydration. Uh. The average 70, the average 30 year old is 70 percent water. The average 70 year old is 30 percent water. So when people give you this shit about drinking more water, remember that number. Because that's why people die. They're dehydrated. That so you're saying oldies aren't drinking water? People, it, this happens over, a, I said 30 years old, 70%. By 70, you're 30%. This is over a gradual. Because you slowly stop you, drinking water? You don't drink it enough at all, and it eventually it gets to you. I drink a pretty good amount of water every day. You should be drinking half your, by the way, here's a health fact for all of you. Drink half your body weight in ounces and drop a limit. And, I know, and by the way, before you say that, half of you motherfuckers drink 10 beers and don't even blink, and I've seen, you, <laughs> I've seen some of you do it. So don't give me this shit about half your body weight in water, because you <laughs> chug that in beer every Friday and fucking Saturday and don't even think twice about it. And you know what you're doing? You're looking for a fast food joint at midnight so you can chug some more. So shut the fuck up with that. Okay, that's a choice. There's nothing wrong with drinking water. This is the, It's free. Hey, water from the frost or from the from the refrigerator now because we're in 2022 2023 i'm sorry fridge, and, fridge water solid it is solid it's got the filter in there and it, yeah it's solid and you get the ice maker right next to it and all you gotta do is well, drop and, maker and, and by the way like all you have to do is drop a, a little slice of lemon in it and milk it the whole day how much money does that cost and you'll be Thomas so you can't Brady. Even, you can't even you can't even 
complain about the financial windfall of this from you. Windfall. Yeah, from oh my god, if I do that, how much money's gonna cost me? Uh, nothing. Did anybody say so, drinking water would cost that much? I mean, unless you're the, drinking the number, avion. The, the number two cause of death in this country is dehydration, of illness rather, that leads to death. The number one. Booty foot? No. No, visceral fat. Visceral fat. Which is in every oh, you're, fucking You're thing. preaching isogenic so, shit. No, this is, a, this is a doctor who wrote careful, this. Careful, careful. A doctor. Careful, everyone. He's I didn't say. Sell, I he's didn't trying s- to sell you. No, I'm not. I'm trying to sell you on the fact that Tom Brady will never be seen again. And the next person who talks to me about how Patrick Mahomes can run backwards on his butt cheeks and throw a 40-yard bomb <laughs> into a moving target, okay, I'm going to laugh at. He can throw a football through a needle in the haystack. While backpedaling on his cheeks, on his butt cheeks. That's how great he is. I swear to God, Chris Collinsworth last Sunday almost threw up my mouth. Oh, my. Acting like no one had seen the guy before. Okay, and he's... At, he's <laughs> remember when he made the, the uh, half pass and he dropped it? He goes, what a play by Mahomes. Yeah, remember that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> What an idiot! Fucking I guarantee you, every former football player is going, Chris, just shut up. Just shut up. Just shut the fuck up, Chris. (laughs) He just dropped it. It wasn't about, oh, no! No, he dropped it. He fucking dropped it. What a play by Mahomes. What a play. The smartest play. You won't see a man make up smart enough to drop it the right way. <laughs> shut, what the fuck are you talking about? What a play by Mahomes. <laughs> shut the, Chris Collinsworth. Do the world a favor and shut the fuck up. <laughs> we are all getting dumber listening to you. What a, I can't fucking, I can't fucking believe he got away with that. No one said nothing. <laughs> you fucking kidding no, people me? were crushing him. Oh my fucking people were god! Crushing the, him the, 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 first of all, the skill level to obtain a drop of such magnitude. <laughs> such, I mean, like, what a play! By I've never seen a man talk about a drop, like as in you drop it out of your hand. Okay, like like that fucking was he was. CC. Oh my fucking god! Are you kidding me? So yeah, we're at six fifty three. Six fifty three. All right. Do you have anything else to say? This is in closing. I'm gonna close this off because my buddy's about to turn to a popsicle. That's right. Um, in in closing, I want to say for the world to hear, or all five of you, whoever's watching, um, zero. Uh, Tom Brady, I want to thank you for twenty three years that I'll probably never have twenty three years like this again as a, as a fan. And I hope my friend gets 23 years as long as not as at my expense of a fan, of a, of teams, a guy. Our teams aren't. Of a guy like you. Because every diehard sports fan on this planet deserves a guy or a girl, uh, someone like a you. A person. And the, a person like you. And the reality is you came along. <laughs> I mean, you don't come along. There's just not you. So I hope you understand this and you're going to hear this for the next three months. Before you get near a TV screen again, um, I want to thank you for everything you did for me in my life. You gave me hope in a world where there's not a lot of hope right now because you were the common man who showed that you were very uncommon. And I will take that to my grave with me. I love you and I'm going to miss you. Congratulations. That is all for tonight. The redoubtable one himself, Tom Izzo, the highly, highly, highly questionable one himself. Salute to the GOAT. You guys have a great time. Enjoy the sports this weekend. We will see you on the other side. Until then, boys and girls, remember, just like Aaron Rodgers in the title game, tight, tight like a fucking drum. Tight, 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 so tight. tight. Aaron Rodgers is so tight that if you put a lump of coal up his ass in two weeks, you'd have a diamond. That tight. Until pressure, then. Pressure does make diamonds. Hey, shameless plug, Ferris Bueller. Love you, guy.